James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Report, and today I'm going to be talking about the war on drugs. American prisons are dangerously overcrowded, and the war on drugs is mainly to blame. Over 50% of inmates currently in federal prison are there for drug offenses, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. The second largest category, immigration-related crimes, account for 10% of inmates. This means the people convicted of two broad categories of nonviolent crimes, drugs and immigration, make up over 60% of the U.S. prison population. As the number of people convicted of drug offenses has gone up, the federal prison population has increased almost 790% since 1980, when there were only 25,000 inmates per prison, according to the 2012 Congressional Research Service service report. Today there are 215,000 inmates in federal prison. Now American War on Drugs has aimed to eradicate drug abuse through strict laws and harsh enforcement. The policies date back a century and for years now the War on Drugs has been considered a failure. Illegal drugs have been cheaper and more concentrated which suggests the world supply is actually increasing. According to the United Nations estimate, global consumption of, of opiates, cocaine, and marijuana has increased by 35%, 27%, and 9% between 1998 and 2008. In the late 2013, a report came out by the Public Interest, ITPI, revealed that pr private prison companies are striking deals with states that contain clauses guaranteeing high prison to company rates, sometimes 100%. This means that states agreed to supply prison corporations with a steady flow of residents, whether or not the level of criminal activity even exists. As a result, there are over 2 million people living behind bars in the United States. That's a half a million more than China, which has a population five times greater than the U.S. Many are incarcerated for nonviolent crimes like the use of possession of marijuana and other problem a problem that would be far better served through rehabilitation and education programs. The worst part is the ones that ca are the captured by the prison industry inmates are forced to work for pennies an hour providing cheap labor for some of the most profitable enterprises in the world, including the U.S. military. According to the Left Business Observer, the federal prison industry produces 100% of all military helmets, am ammunition belts, bulletproof vests, ID tags, shirts, pants, tents, bags, and canteens, along with war supplies, prison workers supply 90% of the entire market for equipment assembly service, 93% of paints and paintbrushes, 92% of stove assembles, 46% uh, of body armor, 36% of home appliances, 30% of headphones, microphones, and speakers, 21% 20 of office furniture, airplane parts, medical supplies, and much more. Prisons even are raising seeing eye dogs for blind people when you can't you know, you can't get that kind of labor for less than a dollar. It's hard to see the government's motivation for incarcerating fewer people. And it's all done at the taxpayer's expense. This has been James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Links are below. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is Media on 9-11. Thank you.